Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Ghost Town map with Fury, and he's in the Tier 6 Japanese heavy tank, the uh, heavy tank number 6, that's known as the Japanese Tiger. This German ship one Tiger 1 to Japan so they could study it and decide whether they want to build it, but um, didn't seem to progress past that. Probably a bit lucky for the um, Pacific campaign, but I think yeah, the Japanese decided that it was too complex, which is uh, yeah, certainly one of the downfalls of most of the German heavy tanks. Yeah, it's in game as a tier 6 and he's in a tier 5, tier 6 battle. So, quick blind shot there, but coming to the area where the heavy tanks play. And the enemy's got what, two M6s, a Porlac, and a VK-301P, so... Alright, this one of the Porlacs there. So, just waiting to come around the corner. I can see... The Fury's already got one mark on the gun barrel. And, okay, now he's found one of the M6s. Doesn't go through the front of that. And now he's got... Panzer IV, no problem. In fact, he's loaded with APCR, so get the best performance out of the gun. So he's already marking the tank. I think he's got one mark on it, as I mentioned. But um, in any case, let's see how he goes with this one. He's just waiting for that Panzer III IV to come around the corner again. Now, it's a bit hard to compare the heavy tank number 6 to the actual Tiger 1 in game. They're at different tiers and um, different guns, I think, certainly with the top gun. But this is a premium tank, so you can make a bit more credits out of it. Below tier 6, so not, premiums are not as uh, able to make credits as tier 8s, of course. So there's another Tiger 1 based premium tank in the game at least, which is the um, Tiger 131, which is based on the Tiger 1 in the British Tank Museum at Bovington. Beautifully rendered with the um, camouflage of the 131. And here we go. Got the uh, enemy VK heavy tank. Just uh, not going through the frontal armor of Fury's tank, and he puts the killing shot in there. So first kill the Fury's tank. His team though is a couple of tanks behind. They're a bit behind in hit points, so Fury needs to try and find the next target fairly quickly without sort of losing too many hit points in the process. So he's charging across here at his maximum speed. All right, there we've got a Panzer IV H. Unfortunately, he doesn't hit the right spot, and he is lit. Takes the incoming round from his tracks, but the Panzer for H not getting out of the way, tries his luck, and just stays in the one spot for a bit too long. Uh, here we've got another unknown player, Alex the Kid in the Super Chevy. Was in one AR for a little while, and. Now he's getting tracked by Fury, who will try and put a shot into him, and he does and gets the kill. So it takes that fairly dangerous light tank out of the game. And now another target, he's just basically farming these targets here. The Cavalier actually gets taken out then by the Versotto. So Fury fires another blind shot to where he thinks TDs might be up in the corner. But uh, now he's accumulated well over his own hit points, and he can take on the next Polak tank here and didn't penetrate there so it's got a fairly bouncy armor with all those curves on it but now he's managed to penetrate it and here we go gets the kill so if we reverse the position they got a slight hit point lead and they're one tank up will that stay anyway fury has just touched 2k which is almost double his own hit points which is a great target to hit and you just see the Win 8 counter up in the top right there, he's already at 5,000 Win 8, which is an excellent um, result already. That's something you can um, use, I think, to your advantage. If you're a developing player and you're trying to improve your overall performance, it's worth getting a 
Winnate counter because it may only take one or two extra damage shots per game to lift your rating. That's uh, something that most players want to be able to do, um, but uh, don't necessarily know how to achieve that. And that's just one thing I found was useful to try and improve uh, a rating is to basically yeah, know exactly where you are in the game, whether you need to, you know, basically find some more damage to change your rating. In any case, the game is pretty fluid at the moment. Uh, a few points are going backwards and forwards. They've still got a small advantage. And, uh, Fury coming up here to track that. No, I just found one of the other enemy top tier heavy tanks there. The T1 heavy. Sorry, that's not the top tier. That's a T1, not a M6. So a bit similar in shape. And he's just, I wouldn't say ignoring Fury, but he's just trying to get out of the way, but very, very slowly. And he gets taken out by the Posado again. So the Posado cleaning up a bit here. But Fury on four kills now. And he knows there's a Jackson up there, and he can take him out. Jackson, you can see, only 357 hit points, so two shots into him. And he'll be done. And now, yes, look at the score there, even again. No, just got another one, so yeah, it's very much a fluid game here. And Fury himself will take a bit of time getting up the hill. And you can see the speed dropping back. Down to 13, down to 12. Yeah, that looks like the minimum. Get uh, okay, he's found the uh, Jackson. Fires a snapshot, but that seems to miss. Didn't get any noise out of that, but now he will basically sacrifice him. One shot in. He can take, forge to take a hit, but he actually takes it on his tracks. One more shot, and he gets the kill. And now it's just cleaning up, really. So, there's still a top tier heavy tank and a top tier tank destroyer. As well as one of the uh, reward tanks you get in the current um, 13th anniversary. So, the AMX 13 FL 11. Haven't had a battle in that tank yet, or seen a replay of it, but um, be interesting to see how well that plays. Uh, they found the um, TD, that's sometimes known as the box tank or the SU-100Y and you should be able to get another shot in before the uh, SU-100Y can fire potentially lines him up and gets the kill so the SU-100Y probably waiting for his aim to come in <laughs> I would suggest and now it's just a matter of finding the M6 who has taken a little bit of damage and the AMX-13 FL-11 who I don't think has been spotted yet if he has, he has, it's not been found. Oh, here we go, he's the M6. Nearly full health, actually, so... He, but he's gone... Is he playing the game? What is he pointing at? No, he's backing up, he's definitely in the game, but he's... He actually does fire a shot into Fury, so I think that's about the first damage that Fury's taken. So he gets up right in his face, which is something you can do to try and distract the enemy, so you can see here he can't find a target. And now he's going through the front plate of this very tall tank, We've got T1 Heavy behind him firing at him, <laughs> trying to get past him. And in fact, uh, the Easy 8 takes out the M6, so Fury denied a kill there, but he's already got six kills, and that's earned him the top gun. And here we go, there's the AMX 13 FL 11. And he's tracked him, so he's out in the open, and he gets the kill shot. So that brings up his seventh kill, and that is actually the end of the battle. Okay, we've got the battle results here. Seven kills, of course, that gave him the top gun. 4.3k of damage, that's earned him the high caliber award for the most damage. Steel wall, he's blocked 1370. He's got another 742 of assisted damage there, which is partly most of the tracking. So that's a total of 5k of um, combined damage. Great result there for tier six. And He's also in the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, so let's have a look at the team score. Alright, this is pretty impressive. So we've got a base EXP of 1938, so just under 2k. That's excellent uh, scoring there. And again, this is that's a premium tank. It doesn't have any special um, earnings for experience. Uh, next best tank was the Churchill 1 with 1.3k and the, even the easy 8 only got just over 1k but good for their play but um, definitely a carry there from Fury just mopping up <laughs> all of the damage and all the kills 
and on the enemy team the Jackson that he took out uh, near the end 1.5k of damage being the top damage on that team and the top EXP earner. So what did he earn from that? Well not a whole lot but he fired 35 shots, 28 hits and 22 penetrations. Uh, the All his ammunition was uh, premium. He had a small amount of repair cost because he only really took one hit of damage and ended up with a minus 16k result there. That uh, definitely ameliorated by having a premium tank and playing with a premium account but would have been much more substantial if he didn't have the premium account. In any case that's his best result in the tank so far and a great result in that tank itself. Um, overall probably one of the better results in that tank um, yeah, on the server I would think. In any case, great game there from Fury. I um, hope you liked it. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, have a look at a few more on the channel. Make up your own mind, but please consider doing that. For more great content to follow, thanks very much for watching.